Montana and do time tonight. Um, we'll try it out. You let us know if you like this time or if you want to go back to 5 o'clock, right? So, uh, it's up to you. Um, this is why we change times. Um, and wow. Okay, if you would like to adopt, uh, you go out and fill out an application. That's how you adopt. Um, and you can just go to, uh, oops, wrong banner. Let's go to um, Montana's page here. And right here is where you go. Um, great Pyramids, uh, or Great Fear uh, Rescue MT at Rescue Groups. At, right there. If you go out to the Montana Great Pyramids Rescue's um, website, that's where your adoption application is. So, um, and there's a link up there in the description. So, all right. Well, here we go. Kelsey's not going to be here tonight. Um, um, she has some things to do with uh, Takani, her foster dog. Right. So, uh, um, but um, uh, but we got a good show, and we've got a young one coming up, and she's only got a few minutes. But um, we're going to um, bring up puppies today. Everybody loves puppies, don't they, Aaron? Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Hey guys. Yeah, and you have Ginger that's all blended in with her bed. I know. I was just going to say the sun is just perfectly coming through the there window. There she is. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Perfect view. So, <laughs> oh, what a good looking girl now. Um, well, how about that? The very first comment of the night is the lady says she wanted to adopt. I like that. Oh, that's perfect. Ginger, Arlo, we're all happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but look at that. Now, Where'd you get that picture? I know. So that was with her sister, Clove. And this was a while ago, of course, after puppy playtime. They get totally tuckered out. <laughs> uh, and she doesn't care where she sleeps when she gets tired, right? Not at all. She she prefers the lap, but, you know, anywhere will do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good picture there. But there's the real deal. So uh, yeah, I, know she's... I know you're in a hurry, but can you give us a little bit of a brief rundown on her before you have to go? Yeah, absolutely. So she's about 13 weeks old. Uh, we didn't hear, at least I didn't hear very much about her background, but it sounds like mom is purebred Great Pyrenees and dad is Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd. Um, she did have a sister that threw a really dark face. So you could tell even maybe not so much with her that there was some Anatolian in there. Um, well, she's got these really beautiful like tan markings on yeah. her and her head and then she's got two spots on her back too um just a princess i and i feel like that might have been us <laughs> a little bit with the fostering uh we're okay. spoiling her for sure she's got the big old costco dog bed um yeah. she pops right in the middle of it she knows what to do she's great with other dogs um our older dog is not so great with her so she right. i think needs, she needs a place right now <laughs> yeah, but she, she needs, is uh, so playful she absolutely needs a place to go right now yeah, she's now her other dog. Um, and it's no offense uh, to Ginger because your other dog isn't great with very many other dogs, right? <laughs> right, exactly. She wants to play. Yeah, in yeah. the sweetest in the sweetest way. Okay. Yeah, right. we do have a, we do have a cat too, and um, she's really interested in Celie, our cat. And you can tell Celie's just like, "What are you doing?" But she loves to get as close as she can and sniff until Celie's like, "Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm moving okay. on." Um, we're starting to get the potty training thing down. The last two nights, she's jumped up on the side of the bed and started crying. And I'll let her out and she'll go to the bathroom. So I'm going to chalk it up to her trying to tell us that she has to go, which is really cool. That's good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, fast. yeah, she's she's a good girl. She's a very, very sweet girl. Okay. Yeah. Uh, great Green News Rescue of uh, Montana. RescueGroups.org. Uh, that's where you go. Um, and um, boy, that's, uh, and, if, and now when she moves along, you may have another one to take even before she moves along, possibly. Yeah. Right. We'll see what's going on. It sounds like there was uh, like a big litter in Utah on the side of the yeah. road. You know, makes everybody yeah. sad, pulls on your heartstrings, but uh, they need a place. So we might try it again. <laughs> yeah. Now, Ginger's in Montana, right? Yep. She's in Montana, just south of Missoula. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Kathy says she looks very sweet. She is this. I'm not telling you guys, this could easily be a foster fail for us. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> she is a girl, and before she does, before <laughs> yeah. does uh... she's a good one. She's a good one. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, boy, oh boy. So there you have it, a possible foster parent. So get your ass <laughs> ready, and, and let's at least get um, uh, Aaron and her family to make a decision anyway. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, is she available now? Um, I believe so. Up on the website quite yet, right? Right, right. I believe so. I know she came in with two other sisters, and both of those sisters have been adopted out based on, you know, them getting their other vaccines and to be spayed. Uh -huh. um, she has not been spayed. I believe she's gotten her first round of vaccines. I'm not sure about the second. Um, but yeah, she'll need to be spayed, but that's down the road. All right. Now, Carol's on here. She says, uh, I heard that. So, <laughs> <laughs> possible. Hey, Carol. Uh, so, uh, and she, now, I will uh, say, I will say too, um, we've had some deer up in the backyard and she saw a mom deer and her two babes and immediately locked eyes. And I, she does this almost like a lion kind of walk, almost like she's stalking. And she just goes and she lifts up her foot and just starts, burr, burr. <laughs> well, I'm scared if she's like, what? Uh, but so she's, she's already starting to notice that there's things around that aren't normal um, or foreign, I guess, to her other than our family and our dogs. And she's noticing and she's alerting us. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you've already got one vote to make her a foster tail. Right. <laughs> uh, so, um, but yeah, it's hard uh, with puppies, isn't it? It's hard to, because of cuteness. But always remember, folks, that puppy's going to grow up a little bit bigger than that. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, yeah. And yeah. some things will change. She's got some needle teeth right now, doesn't she, at her age? <laughs> she does. We had a gentleman come over yesterday. Uh, from He drove from Washington to take a look at wow. her. Wow. Yeah, um, but it sounds like he might he might go for a couple more that are actually at Old Farm Kennels. The good is news is he might get a bonded pair. Yeah, so we're that. happy no matter who gets adopted. And that would be Chandler and who's the other one? I think Monica. I think Monica. that's what I heard. So fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Monica and Chandler. Let's root for them too, okay? And yes. if it doesn't, that's okay. They'll be the next adopted. Right. Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but she... Yeah, she she showed she showed um, his name his his name was Bill. She showed Bill her teeth and got him on the ring. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she right. did. Yeah. She was so, playing hard. Yeah, that doesn't mean she did. That means she was a puppy. Absolutely. And in in her defense too, he even he was the funniest guy. He was like, "Oh, my old skin. This cut so easy. <laughs> it was so funny." <laughs> oh, and I I know I understand where he's coming from. I'm <laughs> But uh, wow, um, she's beautiful. She's adorable, and um, and uh, you got a you got a couple things you have to do. So we're going to gracefully gracefully let you out, and Thanks, um, because we have uh, we have another young one coming up, a little older than him, or a little older than Ginger, her. Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, thank you for fostering, um, and um, and that's Ginger. So oh boy. Um, well, now uh, we've got our technical advisor out here now in, in Michigan. He says, my audio is not coming through very well. So let's get some votes going. If my audio is not coming through very well, let me know about it. All right. So, um, and I can fix it. So, all right, Erin, you, uh, you better get her gathered up and, um, and get on down there. And, and we're going to bring up, um, we're actually going to play his video first. So thank you for coming on. Okay. Yeah, thank you, guys. And I'll gracefully let you back down the green room. Thank okay, you. So. All right. Wow. All right. Um, hopefully my audio is coming good and you can hear me. So, well, without much ado, if it's not, I'll just um, go this route then. Uh, we're going to play. We got Arlo coming. So he's our superstar. This is little video. Yeah.
Ah. Hey, now you can hear me okay, uh, Bree? I can hear you great. All right. Um, so, um, wow, there's the superstar. Yes, this is Arlo. Wow. Um, uh, let's focus on that boy. There we go. There Arlo He's a superstar. Sit. Man, um, so is he, uh, The my burning question, is he still a little turd? <laughs> he is. He, um, he, you know, finally, our, our other two uh, Great Pyrenees started warming up to him, and now they, they have lots of fun together, and he likes chasing Wicket, our Pyrenees Akbash, around. Um, they have a great time. They you know, mess up the couch and tear up toys together, but he is the absolute sweetest boy ever. Now, um, from what I understand, according to his video, he gets along fine with just about anything and everything. Yep. He really does. He, um, he gets along great with dogs. He just wants to, you know, play, play with other dogs and be friends um he loves kids so much he walks he'll walk down to the school bus stop with me and pick up my daughter from school and all the kids come off the bus and he gets very excited to see all the kids he loves kids um men he's a little shy around um but he warms right up right up eventually so um yeah he he's really just just a super super sweet boy wow now yeah. his bio's up there, and I've got his link in the uh, in the description of the show, and that is clickable. Now, um, um, wow, what a that's dangerous, isn't it? Him good, looking that good, acting that good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He. Yep. He. Um, it's funny when we first fought, uh, first got him. Um, you know, we went and went and bought him some toys and a new uh, bowl and my daughter wanted to buy him a bed. And I was like, well, our other two didn't use the beds. It was just a waste of money. And she's like, well, can we please? And I was like, okay. And sure enough, like he jumped right in bed that night at nighttime. He does great. Um, wow. he's, he stays in our bed. He's never had an, uh, or in our bedroom. Um, and sometimes I do put him up with me, um, when we go to go to bed, but, um, He's never so had him. cheating, but he does yeah. well in bed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, my husband the other night, um, my big one, Wicket, my big Akbash, um, and then Arlo were in um, my bed when my husband came to bed, and so he went and slept in the guest room. So <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um, but yeah, he's never had an accident overnight, and um, I think it's been about a week since he's had an accident during the day. So he's he's doing a great job now wow. with with potty training. He can sit um, on cue. So, yeah, he's doing a really great job. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. now, Michigan says uh, Arlo looks awesome, and my audio is better now, too. So, um, <laughs> and uh, Nancy, she says, what a cutie. Now, Nancy's with the uh, Great Pyrenees Rescue and Sanctuary in Colorado. So, she's actually within striking distance. And, oh. and the group in Colorado, there's a uh, private group in Colorado that we stream to and, um, and they're watching. We've had comments out of there, but um, uh, that is one good looking dog now. Now he's um, the best of your knowledge. He's all Anatolian shepherd. Is, is that correct? Um, so, I mean, that's what I was told. I kind of think he might be an, Ana like some sort of mix. Okay. Um, just, you know, he, he does seem like a, some sort of like shepherd in him as well, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm not sure. I, I thought about buying one of the DNA tests and doing there it to curiosity. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Anatolian now everybody, I for be the first one to admit, I've never met a real live Anatolian shepherd in person knowingly, just so yeah. you know. All right. Yeah. Um, but I've seen pictures. I've been suspicious. Um, but, um, I've never actually met one uh, in person. Why, hey, Sam, how you doing? There's an, uh, there's a longtime rescue supporter right there down in Tennessee. Um, he, he, he found the show. Um, I, I hope everything's well, Sam. Um, but um, now, he's beyond his needle teeth now, isn't he? Um, 
his teeth are still sharp, but they they definitely aren't as sharp as when we when we first got them yeah. or first got him. So no, yeah. he's he's about four. He's a little. He's right around four months old, right? Yep, yep. Because I think I got him around thirteen weeks, and yeah, I think he's around sixteen weeks now. Yep. Okay, all right. Now, or so, um, so I think, anyways. Now, unless thing changes, what what type of home do you think he would need? Um, you know, I think he would do like best in a, in a home that has kids. Like I, he just, he just really adores kids. Um, you know, the picture that was in his video was him, um, in bed with my daughter when she was yeah. reading a book. He, every morning when it's time to wake her up for school, she's, so she's 11, she just turned 11. He, he runs in her room and he jumps on her bed and he walks all over her. Like, he's like, it's time for you to wake up. And he, he just, you know, he just loves, loves kids. Like, right. that's just, I feel like it, having a kid is like his, you know, dream home. So, yeah. Yep. Now, Sam has an Anatolian Shepherd mix, and he said he said, definitely sees Anatolian in him. Mm -hmm. um, so now, we're, so that, that puts us, a, that gives us a restriction on his application. It looks like kids are required this time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would really say so. He loves it you know, he loves my daughter and he loves it when her friends come over, like they get off the school bus and he's jumping and all excited. Oh, and so that's kind of dangerous. That, 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 that heads towards foster fail himself, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, but you know, um, the rescue is in business to, to adopt dogs. Okay. And it doesn't, uh, I mean, and that's okay. If you, uh, fostering is the only job you can have where failure is actually good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but we don't want everybody to foster fail because then we start, you know, the chances of fostering could get, um, a little slim. Um, yeah. or if you've got seven dogs uh, that you've, um, well, couldn't let go of, <laughs> yeah. then the eighth one gets a little difficult. So, yeah. um, now I, um, I Sam, actually have a foster fail from, um, the first dog that I fostered through the great Pyrenees rescue Montana. Okay. So, oh, so, um, oh, so. Yeah, oh, so is about four years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would love to keep him, but you know. Um, but you want to keep fostering, huh? Yeah, I want to keep fostering, and it's just you know not the right time to have a third dog come in right. permanently and whatnot. So, um, yeah, he, but he's, it will, we, our hearts will like be broken when. <laughs> yeah. In a, yeah. in a good way when he um, he gets adopted because he yeah. is just a sweet boy. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm showing the picture of Arlo, Oso, and Wicket. All right. yeah. um, that's Oso in the middle. That's the foster fail she's talking about. The dog yeah. on the right there, that's Wicket. That's her uh, Pyrenees Akbosh mix. Look at those legs. Yeah. Classic <laughs> Akbosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, I tell my great Pyrenees they're lucky I didn't see an Akbosh first. All right. Yeah. <laughs> they're an amazing breed. Um, they are. Yeah. He's, uh, he's great. And he, him and Wicket. So Oso is a little more serious and kind of, kind of grumpy. And a lot of people think he's an old man, but him and Wicket are actually the same age. Um, wow. Yeah. But Wicket and um, Arlo love playing together. They rough house. Like they're just, they're really great friends. Wow. So. Well, and it kind of makes sense because if you think about it, uh, well, the Anatolian Shepherd comes from the Anatoly Plateau of Turkey, and um, and the um, well, the Akbash uh, comes from a different region. They're both from Turkey, so. Mm -hmm. um, and and some people like to say that the Anatolian Shepherd uh, is also the Kangal. Okay, mm -hmm. the Kangal is the national dog of Turkey. If people don't know that, but. Um, I believe they're two separate breeds, but I'm going to tell you, believe it or not, this is an ongoing debate within Turkey of all places. So uh, <laughs> the Kangal's fur is a little longer. They come from a colder region, just so you know. All right. Other than that, you can't tell them apart. DNA confuses them too. So, but anyway, wow. Great Freedom's Rescue Montana. That is one nice looking puppy you've got there. And he's available now. And, yeah. um, and that's just... Wow, he's still a puppy though. Yeah. Uh, and um and and there and and you know, 
it uh there's really no one breed I, i'm not i personally i don't know all the characteristics of the anatolian shepherd i do know the akbash um, um just as a rule they're a little more laid back than the great pyrenees and and some of the other guardians okay um and but make no mistake you haven't lived until you've triggered an akbash into survival response all right you haven't lived so but um but he's beautiful Thank you for fostering him. How long have you had him now? Um, so I got him, I think it was the August 16th or 17th. So almost okay. a month now. Yep. So, so you know enough about him that uh, you're pretty accurate here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I, my husband and I work from home. So, mm -hmm. um, so, so we don't have cats. Um, we're not cat people, but um, the day that I picked him up, um was at uh angel angel paws i think it was in um in murray utah and there was tons of cats like out walking everywhere in this like facility and he was totally totally fine around cats so yeah that's good mm -hmm. and somehow see that could go either way but not just with the anatolian that's with any dog that can go yeah. either way all right yeah. depends on the cat now um now ginger the puppy yeah, she's good with the cat. Just she can't figure out why that cat just keeps hissing at her. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's a pretty good one. Um, now Sam made the offer that um, if you if you need, you can get a hold of him. He, he'll tell you all about his Anatolian Shepherd too. So yeah. Um, but and Ellen says that's cute. But look at him. That's just he's still in the toy stage. He loves toys we have a basket full of <laughs> this is his favorite one because it oh <laughs> squeaks it. Don't get it. um we have a basket full of toys and he pulls all of them out every single day like multiple times a day and then i i put them all back so he's he's very much like a toddler that makes messes with toys and you're constantly having to to clean it up but i love it because our other two don't play with toys as much so yeah but he he loves toys yeah. um wow i hate to break this to you but i have a kuvaz that i got at about 10 months old and and she uh when she started playing um and uh now she'll she's almost three and uh toys are still her thing yeah okay so um and arlo could be that way it's hard to say but uh but sasha is definitely that way um wow great Pyrenees rescue montana that's uh where you go that's where it's happening uh uh ginger's bio should be up soon but arlo's up there and um uh now how how accurate was his video did, did we kind of uh, catch his personality yeah you really did yeah it's it's super accurate it was on point so all right and uh we hope you liked it we 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 like to catch you tunes too um now let me ask you a question and i'm going to slide right i don't know how's your timing look are you okay um, yeah okay mm -hmm. uh without uh kelsey uh this could be a little bit shorter show but when you got him um did you have the classic um um mouthing problem that puppies do where he thought you were the squeaky toy um a little bit yeah a little bit um more so with my with my daughter um but that's how it was with wicket when we got him as a puppy <laughs> as well um so we were you know we, we knew that that would happen um he's definitely as he's played more with wicket he doesn't do it as as much anymore he'll do it okay. once in a while but not as much now when he used you as a squeaky toy uh, did you come across anything that was successful to uh divert that without beating him to death <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i would just just reinforce it with um uh you know another i'd go and grab one of his toys and hand that to him right. um, he does like to chew shoes um so we've lost a couple pairs of those so when i see him grab something that he's not supposed to have um you know he we we try i, I replace it with one of his toys and that's so. important right there wow that's amazing i like that um in the training world <laughs> um there's a few different ways you can do that. By the way, Carol said she would love to get to meet you. She's the director of the Montana Rescue in Montana. Um, I think that's pretty honorable. 
but um and there's a couple different ways you can do this um old outdated news tells um uh, story you know the old way tells us that say ow and stuff like that okay mm -hmm. always remember as we as in the training world as we learn things we adjust one of the things we found out about saying ow to a puppy well that kind of adds us to the game mm -hmm. and that reinforces that behavior one of the things i recommend if they're using you as the chew toy first of all don't yell at your puppy he doesn't know what you're saying okay yeah. and um and always remember your dog or your puppy they don't know right from wrong they don't have logic so they can't know right from wrong so if you say no they don't know that's just like saying ow oh mom's part of the game now yeah. try this freeze don't move don't don't say anything unless you have to say ow in for in real life um but and then when the puppy relieves then give the puppy the toy that you want them to play with try that once and see if that works out for you that's about what you were doing huh Bree? yep and how did that work out for you he's not mouthing you now no 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 he's he doesn't he no he once in a while he'll get kind of excited it's usually when i wake up in the morning he'll kind of pull at my clothes and whatnot um but that's it's a happy like, hello yeah yeah so he but yeah, he's, I feel like he's done like a really great job with that. Like definitely, definitely improved. So good. Good. Now, um, uh, going back to what type of home would he need? What about, um, somebody that has to leave for work? How will he do with that? Now, uh, everybody remember he's still a puppy. Okay. So is he crate trained, um, in case somebody doesn't trust him? So, um, it's it's hard to know how he would be all day in a crate. We've only put him in a crate when we've had to leave for like a dinner. Right. Um, yeah, and we don't want him in a crate all day. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that so, wouldn't I mean, be a good fit. Again, like he's still in that puppy phase where he does like to chew on things, um, and you know we're working on it. So um, I would say if there's if there's some if you know if he was in a bathroom or something like that until you could could trust him a little bit more like he has chewed on some rugs so um, basically somebody home works from home probably would be best it would be best i mean i feel like all you're of my struggling family. here because you want him to get adopted in a great home but yet you're you don't want him to go and fail either yeah yeah i, I get definitely it don't want him to fail. And I think, you know, again, it's hard because my husband and I both work from home. And so he hasn't had that, oh, you know, adults are gone all day. Um, so we just, we don't really know. Um, right. But for now, when we leave our house, we do put him in the crate. Um, so, you know, he could, you know, do something like a crate and have, you know, uh, someone check on him, take him for a walk during the day um, until he's more comfortable and, and yeah. out of that yeah. Right. And I think um, eight hours in a crate for any dog, that's kind of long, but yeah. you say, wait a minute, I have to work for a living. Yes, you do. Yeah. Right. And we and agree with that. And that's why I think like another, like if the home has another dog in the house, mm -hmm. it would be great because I can really, I, we do watch him look up. Like it's almost like he looks at Wicket or Akbosh, like, oh my gosh, you're the coolest thing ever. I want to be just like you. And we watch how he, he follows his lead. Follows Wicket's lead. Yeah. So that means he's learning from Wicket. And we yeah. do that often in the training world. Yeah. So we in the training world, we've learned so much from these dogs. And um and uh you always got to meet their their needs. Mm -hmm. And puppies have a few extra needs than most yeah. adults. <laughs> um, now, um, is he your first foster with this rescue? Uh, oh, so was my first foster. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you failed at that. So, yep. um, and now, um, have you had any between Oso and, uh, and, and uh, Arlo? No, we haven't. Okay. Um, What's your experience with fostering for this rescue been so far? I mean, it's, it's been, it's been great. Um, you know, we, uh, Oso and Wicket bonded immediately and we just couldn't, you know, there was a, a lot of actually um, 
friends of friends of ours that were interested in adopting him. And I like it, it broke my heart to try to know that they were so bonded immediately and to separate them. So that's why we, we kept Oso. Um, and, but yeah, it's been, it's been great so far. Like Arlo, you know, it feels good to, that he has a home and he, he wasn't having to be stuck down in a shelter because he is just, he's such a sweet boy. So yeah, yeah but we love this rescue. It's great. Yeah. So that means, um, because Great Pyrenees Rescue Montana, they cover, uh, obviously Montana and, uh, and Utah and, um, and a, uh, somewhat of some other surrounding states also Idaho, I guess. Uh, but, um, if you want to foster it's very, very rewarding. All right. Mm -hmm. Fostering, fostering absolutely saves lives. Okay. Um, maybe not every life, but always remember when you adopt a dog, um, you're cut, you could save up to four other dogs. Okay. Um, so for example, if, if Arlo gets adopted and you say, send me a bonded pair out of, uh, out of uh, Montana, I would like to foster them Chandler. And I can't remember her name, but um, mm -hmm. so if you adopt Arlo, well, you continue to save him. Then she brings another dog out of boarding. Mm -hmm. That means now another dog can go back into boarding and they can take another dog from the shelter. Well, now that shelter's got a spot and that shelter can save another dog. Look at what you've done when you adopt from a rescue. Mm -hmm. So you've really, really helped. Um, so, wow. I tell you, he's one good looking boy too. And he? Sure. that's just, he is amazing. Um, and I, you know, so I don't want to guess what his, I would love to hear. And I bet you our your viewer, our viewers would love to hear if you decide to do the DNA test, you mm -hmm. got to let us know. Okay. Yeah. For sure, I will. Um, so, um, wow. And Sam's absolutely right. Um, there are lots of strays in Utah and all over this country. So, and that's what this show's about. Uh, Arlo is running that show today. So, because this dogs, the show's about the dogs and it's for the dogs. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not breed specific, as you can see. He's an Anatolian Shepherd. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're going to invite shelters on. We've always wanted to. All right. And uh, Sam is right. Yes, I do remember Buddha. And uh, he's an Anatolian uh, that that Sam has down Tennessee. Um, hey, welcome to the show, Sam. I'm glad you kind of kind of found us. Um, but anyway, well, without uh, Kelsey here, we're going to cut her short tonight. You guys have things to do. Um, you have a puppy to chase around. Did you <laughs> notice that? She just turned to see where that puppy was. That's what you get when you are a puppy foster. Kudos to you. Fostering puppies are not is not an easy task. Okay. Yeah. And um, but she's doing the hard work. All right. Most of uh the puppy stuff, you know, she is the one that endures it. Uh it's a little easier when they move to an adopter. There he is. There he is. Say bye. Well, he sure does sport that bandana nicely. He does. Yes, he, he does. does. Yeah. Boy, how much does he weigh now? Um, I think it was about 40, 41 pounds. So he's gained about 10 pounds since I got him. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's some good weight. Um, yeah. that is, he's, uh, that's a, definitely a good looking boy. So he is. Um, and, um, um, okay, Sam, um, I wasn't aware of that, but, uh, some are mating with the coyotes up there in Utah, I guess. Have you oh. ever heard of that? You're in Utah. No, I haven't heard of that at all. Okay. Um, Hey, but we don't all hear everything. No. All we know is Arlo is a star right now. Yeah. So. And another thing that he likes to do, he likes to watch TV. So when oh. the TV, yeah, when you when we first got on the uh the the video here, he was staring at the uh the video playing of all the all the dogs and stuff like that. But yeah, he likes watching yeah, the, our opening video. Yep, yep. He loves watching TV. So did he like his own video? Yes, he did. <laughs> there you have it. So maybe it's just not like and watch TV. Maybe he's just stuck on himself. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he's handsome. All he right. knows he's a cute boy. So, yeah. All right. Um, boy, and is there something, I don't know if anybody, any of the viewers noticed that, but when he came back in um, and she was talking to him, he focused on her, made eye contact, 
and she met a certain need at the time. Okay, that's key to this owning a owning a dog and and you gotta it's meeting their needs and, and the way you meet them, you know. There's, here's a little tip of the day or tip of the night. If you bring a guardian breed into your home to expect to obey your beck and command, you've got the wrong breed. Choices. Let's teach them choices. Always remember, they're not bred to tuck and run. They're bred to stand their ground and then approach and engage if they have to. So not everybody knows an option to flight. That has to be taught, and we teach them starting with choices. But, wow, what a what a nice job you've done with him so far. Thank you. And um, he's just so good looking. I can't wait to hear about his DNA because I'm not sure about the Anatolian, but he almost looks like the nose is German Shepherd's type markings, doesn't it? And um, I think you had actually mentioned that too. So uh, she hit the wrong button, um, and um, and so on that she'll she'll bid adieu. Now, um, oh, she might be coming back too. But um, you've got your camera muted. That's all. There we there are. We Sorry about Hi, guys. that. Hi guys. There we go there sorry about the that. perils of having a puppy yeah uh, let's blame it on the puppy <laughs> yeah, blame it on Arlo, but yes yes right. he does look like he has some shepherd or something in him so yeah um and it's hard to say who yeah. cares yeah Personally, it doesn't matter because he's he's yeah. a great great boy all right so um now oh boy um we got sydney on from oklahoma where we're getting uh uh, getting out there here. Um, and don't forget, um, everybody that, uh, uh, 2023 is coming up and, um, um, most of you up here in Montana and Utah know that national great Pyrenees rescue had their calendar contest. So go out there and now you can order your calendar. I guess, uh, they're shipping in November and it's an amazing calendar. It's a big one, 12 by 24 opened up and and they've got top dog. They've got different dogs in the months and stuff. You read all about them and they got good information. And one thing they've done that was really awesome was, um, was, uh, um, what a certain date, like national cookie day and stuff. And also great Pyrenees rescue society has a calendar. So you go out to, to there. Um, John Luke is the top cover dog at great Pyrenees rescue society. So, uh, there you have it, depending on what region you're in. Um, depends on what calendar you want so and we just give the calendars a mention because you're supporting rescue in general so um and so there you go well that's all i have i'm out believe it or not i'm out of stuff to say some people are going to say wow i didn't think i'd ever hear anybody say that about me so all right sam um and, and you're right. The pictures I've seen sometimes can be confused with German Shepherd style noses. Uh, he could be, he's good looking. He's purebred, good looking boy. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we're going to cut her short just about 20 minutes early. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, yeah. And we hope the best for Arlo because um, I know you're not going to do anything less than the best for Arlo. Yeah. So, and uh, you've done good work. Thank you for fostering. You saved lives. Yeah. So. Thank you very much. All right. All right, everybody. Um, uh, now, there's a possibility that we're going to uh, start doing this show every other week on Saturdays. Okay? So it's kind of been working out that way. So um, um, we might be seeing you instead of the um, 17th. We just might be seeing you on 24th, uh, 24th. So let's look forward to that. If we have a show next week, that'll be totally up to the rescue. All right? Uh, rescue is busy. So. Um, so anyway, until next week, we're going to say, have a good night and well, let's try it there. All right, everybody have a good night.